If you're in your 20s or 30s right now, know that 80% of your entire life will be spent in the metaverse. In the near future, you're going to wear virtual reality goggles and go to office, go to the gym, and even go for dates. Silicon Valley and Wall Street both anticipate that the next wave of multi-billion dollar companies will be built around the concept of the metaverse. But how far is this reality? According to Bill Gates, in two or three years, most online work meetings will happen in the metaverse. More importantly for Indian viewers, Zuckerberg, after renaming Facebook to Meta, said that India will play a huge role in building this new world of virtual reality. There's a lot of highly valued startups that have already begun their journeys in the metaverse. We'll be linking articles down below. But know that it's just a matter of time until almost all businesses start shifting to the metaverse. But more importantly, it's a matter of time until huge amounts of money start shifting to the metaverse. Malls, gyms, restaurants, education, 10 to 15 years from now, as soon as VR devices become more affordable, a huge chunk of our lives is going to be lived in virtual reality, just like in the movie Ready Player One. What you need to know is that there's a lot of money to be made and what you learn in college isn't going to get you ready to earn that big money. Only the tasks that you set for yourself will train you in order to be ready to earn big. As the founder of Upgrad and one of my idols, Ronnie Screwwala says, education in this rapidly changing world has become a lifelong process. Therefore, in today's video, we'll go over six highly paying jobs that will become available in the metaverse. Along with tasks you can begin executing on right now to improve your skill set. Let's call these tasks what you can do now. Want to earn 10 lakh rupees a month? These are your six options. Number one. Game designers. PUBG has ranks, FIFA has leagues, Candy Crush has levels. Someone who was working on these games before they were released thought, hmm, let me put these factors into these games. It'll make the games more fun, it'll make the games more addictive, and most importantly, the user experience. What someone feels when they play these games will be fun. Similarly, the people who worked on social media platforms thought like this. Let's put likes on Facebook, retweets on Twitter, and subscribers on YouTube. These are aspects of user experience. They make you think of a product in a certain way. Because there's a sense of numbers and competitions within these products, the product developers have successfully gamified it for us users. You compete with your peers to get more likes, retweets, or subscribers. Hell, even comment sections are gamified nowadays. Companies all over the world are using elements of gamification to make their products more addictive. Duolingo, Reddit, countless edtech startups are now using elements of gamification. But the real question is, how will you master it yourself? Use your now task. Play actual video games, but view games from the back end. What would developers have thought? Why are there side missions in the first place? Why are certain things unlockable within a video game? What can you do to make it more interesting? How can you grip the mind of a gamer? Next step, you view popular tech products around you. Start identifying gamification-based elements. For example, on Insta, there's follow accounts, engagement you get on posts, and clans or friend groups that you can create within your inbox. All elements of turning Instagram into a game for its creators and consumers. Next step, ask yourself how you can improve these tech products that you've chosen to use and analyze. So these are some of the basic ways to learn about gamification. Later on in life, when you're working in a company that's trying to gamify its product, all those years of FIFA and PUBG will actually be useful for you. You'll stand out amongst the crowd. Also, learning gamification is a crucial skill for all entrepreneurs of the future. Let's make money, baby! Ah! Number two. Graphic designer. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. World designers. To explain this point, imagine this. You put your virtual reality goggles on and suddenly you're in a land full of... Nothing? That isn't much fun. But how about now? You're suddenly in an elaborate metaverse. How the hell do you think this got designed? Graphic designers like Beeple have already begun contributing to the metaverse. Beeple, in fact, has earned more than $100 million in profit by selling his NFTs. His journey began as a graphic designer who simply started uploading weird art on Instagram. Some seriously wacky stuff. I urge you to hear the podcast he did with Joe Rogan. And while speaking about designers, I'd also include fashion designers in this category. 
Nike and Adidas have already begun to create NFTs that can be worn in the metaverse, exclusive virtual reality clothing that's selling for big money. The point is, we're going to need designers to beautify and to elevate the world we're entering. What can you do now? What you can do now is learn these softwares even more deeply. Learn Photoshop, learn Illustrator. But most importantly, learn design skills. How? We'll get to it soon. But for now, know that if you become a top quality designer, it's going to be an extremely highly paid job! Because artificial intelligence or robots will replace many jobs, but to replace creative jobs like this is incredibly difficult, even for AI. So for another two decades at least, you'll be making that bank. Number three, architects. Uh, isn't this one obvious? Architects are already highly paid. This is just going to increase how much money they'll make. A metaverse company called Sandbox actually provides real estate that can be bought in the virtual reality world. An anonymous buyer bought a plot of land for 450,000 US dollars just to live next to Snoop Dogg. Because Snoop Dogg intends on building something called the Snoopverse inside his part of the metaverse. Why do I even need to expand on this point? Yep. These are the realities of the times that we live in and people with experience of designing actual 3D spaces will use their skill set to design 3D spaces in virtual reality. What can you do now? Go to architecture college. Okay, okay. Uh, spend time on Pinterest and get into theories of home decor and design thinking. Number four, coding. It's simple. Why do I even need to expand on this point? Who the fuck is going to code all this? At the end of the day, this is technology created using code. I kind of feel bad for my entire generation that has so many adults who hate coding. I didn't love it either, but when I entered the world of tech startups, I regretted not having learned coding earlier in life. I understand the power that coders have. Coding is like mathematics. People think that they suck at it just because once upon a time, they had bad teachers. But it's a subject you get better at with practice. It's crazy to think that schools all over the world are starting to teach code. An entire generation of kids is going to know how to code in the same way that all of us know different languages. In fact, a metaverse-themed company called Roblox encourages UGG, which means user-generated games. YouTube runs on UGC, which is user-generated content. All of us, that's amateur and professional creators, upload their content onto these platforms. Therefore, the platforms are populated using content from their own users. UGC. In the same way, Roblox uses UGG. Games created by its own users. And by the way, in America, Europe, and most of the world's urban centers, kids use Roblox as their social media. In the same way that when I was a 12 year old in 2005, I used a website called Facebook and told my parents about social media. Roblox of 2022 is like Facebook of 2005 or Instagram of 2012. As you watch this video, there's a kid somewhere sitting in his or her bedroom, building the next big Roblox game through code and polishing their coding skills in order to become this world's next Mark Zuckerberg. Feeling useless? Fear not, Upgrad is here. Upgrad is your one-stop platform for lifelong education. As the founder Ronnie Screwala says, education in this rapidly changing world has become a lifelong process. So if you want to make big money in the long term, it's all about learning how to code, learning how to improve your design thinking, which you'll need for all the previous jobs I've spoken about in this video, and learning how to pretty much do anything professionally, even if you're currently employed in a job that you aren't vibing with. Because the only thing that will help you in the metaverse is your skill set. Polish your skill set with 200 plus options of online courses that will help you stay at the same level as the next gen of kids or artificial intelligence based humanoids that's very likely going to steal your jobs and maybe even destroy the real world until all of us are reduced to being fragments of our consciousness in a virtual space. What the f? Oh, yeah. But my point is skill up, man. What can you do now? Code and use Upgrad. Point number five, content creators. Remember the Snoop Dogg Snoopverse we spoke about? 
What's up, Logan Paul or Ashish Chanchalani or Mr. Beast or Carrie Minati are mostly seen from creating their own 3D worlds inside the metaverse. If I had to build my own metaverse, I'd first scan everything that I'm known for. Fitness, meditation, motivation, and of course, live podcast rooms. Instead of listening to a podcast or watching it on YouTube, come feel like you're a part of the room that we're recording it in. Now that's just me. Maybe Ashish Chanchalani will create a comedic world with all his characters in it. Maybe Kari Minati will create his own version of PUBG with rules that he'll decide. The possibilities are endless because as creators keep staying relevant, they gain more and more power. They control larger chunks of the audience. There's a huge power shift happening in the world of business. Some people call this the creator economy. Some people call this personal brand-led businesses. The key to be noted here is that whoever controls distribution wins the game of business in the 2020s and 2030s. Once you build an online community for yourself, any business you start, anything you create will always find its early customers. Therefore, some money is always guaranteed to you. Most startups that raise money raise it to market themselves, but in this case, the marketing is taken care of by the creators. When the world begins to shift to virtual reality, creators will have a huge advantage because they'll take their audiences with them to the worlds that they create. That's why you should treat social media as a subject and consider a career as a creator. What can you do now? Start uploading content. Don't wait to get perfect at it. Upload, fail fast, improve fast, and keep growing. Next, learn the subject of social media. Using Instagram and YouTube regularly, growing audiences on them consistently is a great way to warm up for the big money game in the metaverse. Number six, managers. In every video, especially the motivational ones, I always mention how my teams have been a huge part of my own career. And that's because I wouldn't have grown to even half of what I've grown to if I didn't have the right support system around me. I'm a creative professional who's made a lot of money off my creativity. I'm surrounded by creators who've had parallel journeys. Everyone's earned money. But know this truth about creative professions, and I'm not just talking about content creators. I'm also talking about graphic designers and architects and coders. Any job that requires creativity. If you wish to go fast, go alone. If you wish to go far, go together. While this entire video was primarily about creative professions, not everyone is born to be a creative professional. In fact, most people are born for roles that support and elevate creative professionals. And that's okay. The accountants, the entrepreneurs, the managers, the PR teams, and so much more. The real world jobs. What will happen to all these people? Who don't want to get into design, who want to utilize their business skills rather than their artistic skills. They'll also transition to the metaverse in many ways, but this video is about making big money. Studying further is not going to get you those big money opportunities. Your higher education will keep you financially safe for the next five years, but what about the next 25 years? What are you going to do then? Are you okay with steady growth in life? Or do you want explosive financial growth in your life? So the real question is what do you do now? Firstly, learn everything about Web3 and the Metaverse. These are new, modern-day subjects. Coding caught on about 10 years ago. Everything Web3 related has caught on right now. What are cryptocurrencies? What are NFTs? What are the further opportunities in the Metaverse? Keep reading because the world of Web3 is evolving every day. Second, network heavily with creative professionals. Before becoming business associates, you'll have to be friends. While technology changes rapidly, the one thing that won't change is human emotions. Therefore, start building real human relationships from now. And more importantly, maintain them in the long term. Next, speaking about human emotions, work on your leadership skills and your people skills. And finally, the most important skill, learn how to sell things on the internet by becoming a digital marketing expert. Digital marketing in the modern day is not limited to marketing professionals. That's what's changed about the world. Internet usage has increased. After COVID, this is how the world works. If you've got a good product, first try selling it through the internet. It's the age of online courses. It's the age of lifelong education. Take a step back from the narratives of our parents' generation. 
an MBA won't guarantee financial success in the long term. Only your skill set and your usefulness will. The time to begin is right now. So log on to Upgrad and let's begin turning India into a dominant force in the metaverse. You know what's coming. Jai Hind.